Welcome to Dravidian Union. Now we will discuss a fire matter of public importance which is in longer debate in India. Privatization of Indian Railways. This video is created with my own view and imports are taken from various sources. Please go through all the video and comment with your enlightenment. Like share subscribe Dravidian Union. It's almost 73 years if Indian independence and Indian Railways is proved to be a worthy public carrier for all its 180 plus years and 73 years of God carrier. It is aimed to integrate India as railways connect various parts in mainland India in all directions in less cost and providing all classes from AC to general class travel. Moreover it has strong network of people with technology driven digital era helps Indian Railways a class transporter to reach all kinds of poor. Even on remotest areas where development is yet to take full shape railways was their first responder in all aspects of their life. Even I was a dependent of railway for studying. Do you know how many persons use railway for education, medical, daily vendors? I hope you must have seen suburban locals has dedicated coach for vendors. This usage has led to rapid social upliftment in their lives where they are deprived by previous company rulers of British. It is corporate rule where oppression, inequality, and democratic ways were followed. After independence on the 15th of August 1947 Indian government has planned to nationalize railways in order to provide service to last man of India and should not be a concern as who has money can dominate more. So Indian railways was made a common man's vehicle across India. Now God of India in 2020 announced a gradual privatization of railway by giving 150 plus routes to private players. Private players has to procure their own coaches to run with existing infrastructure and profits are to be shared with Indian railways. This is a hard move because cheap travel will become costlier. Amenities will increase but what is with common people? With private player in field the reservations for senior citizens will go away. Bharat Ratna travel free. Member of parliament travel concession. Student concession. Benefit for corporate only. Let's see about workers. 1. Many will lose God jobs as private comes to picture intake into railways will decrease. You might have seen a particular language speaking PO who in their own state can't clear their own mother town as per news articles of clearing railway exam in other states and taking away native state jobs. 2. More work time. Recently IRCTC Tejas Express was introduced with much fanfare. But with overlook staffs in Tejas complain of 18 hours of work. Is this the Scott call an employment opportunity? 3. Salary at private will. You might be seeing COVID-19 and its impact. Many God staffs are getting salary and work and how people are in distress who work with private players. Only a handful of private players like Tata are doing great other than all are pending to give salaries. 4. Social distancing. This is common term after COVID-19 but I am describing a different approach. This rate difference and private rates of trains will be a hard sum for many and the equality gap will further increase between rich and poor. This is a social got according to our Indian constitution. Even our Prime Minister Narendra Modi once said in Varanasi that railway will not be privatized but his very own got is privatizing Indian railway and calling to support our own making. There is no possible of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Indian railways are blood veins of India. Backbone of India. Please do not make Indian Railways a private entity and make us proud again. For example, former Railway Minister Lalu Prasad Yadav who served in Dr. Manmohan Singh God has proved Indian Railway running in profit. This is in Lok Sabha debate and archive. Indian Railways can do more without private. Long live India. Long live socialism. Thank you. Stay tuned with Dravidian Union.